guys. It is mid-May and I am standing here in our greenhouse. Our greenhouse is up at our garden and the reason that we have a greenhouse here in Vermont is because we have really long, really cold winters. Uh, so being able to have a greenhouse up here allows us to elongate our growing season. All right, it allows us to start some of our plants in the greenhouse where we can sustain all of the things that they need. Um, we can give them space, they will have light, we will give them water, we have nutrients, um, and they also need air, right? So we've got some nice air coming through our greenhouse here today. But what we are going to be planting is some kale. This is called lacinato kale. Um, it's also known as dinosaur kale because it has this really cool texture that uh, kind of looks like dinosaur skin or what we believe to be dinosaur skin. It's really, really yummy. So we're gonna plant some of that today. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm planting a seedling um, is make sure that my seed is going to have space and I'm gonna use this little green cup today. I am going to fill this green cup with some moist soil. I've kind of wet it a little bit um, so it's easier to work with. And this is telling me that seed is going to go a quarter of an inch into um, the soil. So I'm just going to use my pinky finger and make a little hole right there, about a quarter of an inch to put my seed into. I'm going to place it into my container. I'm going to gently cover it up and then I'm going to water it. All right, we use these um, old milk jugs we poke tiny holes in it. Um, that allows us to have a much softer watering for our young plants. We're gonna use our imaginations now and pretend it's now about six weeks later. And we have some kale transplants. <laughs> All right, um, we planted these on April 1st. It's now mid-May. So this is how much the kale has grown in that time. And now what that means is it's ready to go outside into a larger raised bed where it will have more room to grow. All right, farmers, so now we are outside in front of one of our raised beds. As you can see, we have many raised beds that we're gonna fill with all sorts of delicious fruits and vegetables and flowers um, this season at the farm. And today, we're gonna transplant some of that kale that we just grew really, really quickly, right? I'm gonna make a little hole for my transplant. I'm gonna make it about the same size as the container that it's in so that it's still coming out of the soil at the same height. So I've made a little hole for my kale plant to go into. Um, I'm going to very gently squeeze the sides just to loosen that up a little bit so that it comes out of the container as smoothly as possible. We want to maintain the very delicate roots that have been growing in there. All right. I'm gonna kind of take my hands like a, like a scissor and protect that stem. Flip it over, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. See, we've kind of maintained that shape, and I'm gonna plop it down gently. I'm gonna return that soil around the plant, and just sort of gently hem it down. All right, there you have it. Um, so I'm now gonna plant the rest of the kale in here, and we'll see how it looks afterwards. Ta-da! <laughs> Uh, we got all of the kale into the raised bed, and we even found a little spinach uh, seedling. So what happened was a spinach seed got mixed in when we were originally planting the tiny seeds in the cups, and then we got a little baby spinach plant as well. Um, so we'll take care of that too. Now that they're all in the ground, I am going to water them.
now that it is sunshiny and warm here in Vermont, we're starting to move things outside. Uh, it's a very exciting time uh, for Vermont farmers and hopefully in several weeks, we're gonna see lots of food um, growing up out of these raised beds for us to enjoy.